Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Voodoo Garden. Uh, if you guys saw my, was it Plantera? I think it was Plantera. Uh, or was it Pantera? I don't know, it was, uh, it was, a clicker, sort of clicker game, garden simulator. Uh, I think this is actually going to be very similar, however, I honestly can't tell you what the heck I'm doing. Okay, so we've got fruit that we are currently harvesting. I don't know what to do with any of it. Oh, yeah, wow, this is like the same thing, isn't it? Chicken eats flowers. We've got a bee. We've got stuff. How do I... How do, what do I do with any of this? Oh, I see. I'm, I'm weeding the garden. We're waiting for these things to happen. However, beyond that, pff, hell if I know. Get out of here, bat. Get the, get the doodle away from my my stuff. I, I don't... I don't get it. <laughs> uh, wait, what? My my st stuff disappeared. Maybe the bees are okay. The frogs and the bats probably not. So I got money somehow. Oh. Open production menu. Oh. Oh. Okay. So. By making these things... What? It, what? What? Uh, what? Uh, open purchase menu? What is? What do? Okay, so I can buy this. Ah. I can buy another chicken. Or I can buy one of these frondy things. Except for I can't buy this frondy thing and there's a bat messing with my biz. Get the fuck out of here. I don't know what's going on! Uh, uh, okay, so it looks like what we're doing... Feed your animal, drag a flower to the chicken. Oh. I see. So that's how I feed my animals. So we get we get random ingredients from these things. My plants will grow shit. I have money now. Um, what I do here is, depending on what ingredients I have, I'll produce different things. So love potions, poisonous tea, let's see, top priority, use up ingredients first. So good luck charms. So, based on various ingredients and stuff, I can do various things. I, I, I can make potions which give me money, which can be used. Chicken apparently is not as impressed anymore. I'm very confused. Okay, so what can I buy now? I can buy a tree. Can I buy a tree? Can't buy a tree. I can buy a, a, a shrub. Oh, I see. I can buy another shrubbery. Wow, this is like exactly like Plantera or whatever. Pantera? There we go. Got it. Get out of here, alligator. Mr. Alligator creature. Get out of here, Mr. Bat. I don't know what's going on. There's like a bunch of like just in little annoyances showing up and it's like, well, I mean, they give me frog legs and poisons, so I guess I'll take them. Or I'd say take them, but I don't really know what I'm doing with any of them. Okay, let's buy a creepy ass tree thing. Get this shit out of here. Oh, they're like fruit bats or something, presumably. And now we have a sizable chicken. I don't know what sizable chicken does, but it's sizable. Should probably feed it some more. I mean, it, it seems to eat, so I guess we'll take that. Is there a way I can get like, um... That's probably a totem that gets shit away from me. Uh, what's this? Oh, upgrade tree, grows faster, grows faster. Alright, well let's upgrade the tree. And grab the- No! Give him a thing! Apparently the game doesn't, uh, pause while this shit is going on. Get, get the fuck out of here. They're very aggressive. Uh, but yeah, this is like 100% the same game, uh, that I reviewed last time. Though, I will admit, I like this game's visual style a bit better. Though I want to say the animation might not be as good. That's kind of a hard question to ask. So, yeah, if we come here, we can set different priorities. So I'm going to set this as the highest priority. Seeing as it's the worth the most, it'll use those ingredients first. However, we are sorely lacking in the fruit category. But I think that'll make us the most amount of money. Oh, there was a thing down... Oh, there was a thing down there, and I clicked it just in time. So by increasing the amount of various ingredients here, we can produce various things. So I'll boost that up. So we've got one, two, and three priority. Uh, looks like we're okay on fruit. Oh, but 
Oh, hey, the bats and stuff have kind of left me alone by this point. Oh, that's good. Still don't know what to do with my chicken. Can I? Nope. I guess I'll just have to wait. Well, we've got a new bush that I can build, grow, very soon. We could also get another one of those. I guess I'll upgrade them a little bit, though not sure how necessary it is. I'm just going to feed the shit out of this chicken. Maybe we get a bigger chicken, maybe we start getting more chickens. I don't know. Music's pretty good. Visual design's pretty good. Ultimately, I think this sort of game belongs on mobile first. Uh, just because. Like, it's not... It's not bad, but it is definitely one of those where concept of playing this mobile is a bit weird. So we need a lot more of these fruits because we're running into issues otherwise. So why don't we do... Let's keep upgrading this one so it grows real fast. I guess I'll just keep feeding the shit out of my... Uh... I'll just keep feeding the shit out of my my chicken. Seeing as we're kind of maxed on flowers. Oh. The bees will, like, pollinate. And... Oh, they'll make, um... They'll make... Nests. Okay, sacrifice this animal. No? Maybe? Yes. We will now sacrifice that animal. We have sacrificed this animal. We've created a spirit... Oh, I see. We put it there. And we get, I guess, a defense spirit? Should keep shit off of that side. Okay, one way or another, let's buy us another chicken. Let's keep feeding the shit out of it. I don't really know what the spirit's supposed to do. It just kind of chills out. I'm kind of confused by this. By much slash all of this, really. Oh, let's keep feeding the shit out of you. Can I feed him? No. Oh, maybe the spirit just auto-collects stuff for me. And that's the point of it all. Well, I guess that's okay. I don't know. It's a neat, it's a neat game. I, I didn't exactly, no, I knew exactly what I was getting into. I figured it would be very similar to Plantera. Is this Plantera or is it Pantera? I don't remember. The problem is there's a Terraria boss with a similar, if not almost identical name. And it confuses me. You can drag spirits. I see. So I can put them various places. So let's see if I can get another chicken to sacrifice. We also want to make a little bit more money. Actually, no, we don't. So it looks like my spirit automatically, um... My, my spirit will automatically harvest things for me. It's not a defense thing. It's... And otherwise, okay, well that's fine. So do I have enough money for this? Whatever the heck that is, get out of here, Mr. Bats. Okay. So we're kind of making progress here. It's a bit weird. Sacrificing another chicken probably helps. Okay, now we have two spirits. I wonder if there's, like, an upgraded version of the spirit for things. Probably. So, realistically... No! No! I don't want to carry him around. Okay, whatever. Um, let's take a look at this. So, there's a Mr. Bunny Rabbit that we can get at 4,000. We should probably go for that. Especially because I'm maxed out on, uh, spirits. I'm not really sure what I'd do with chickens otherwise. There's maybe a little bit too much of the whole defend your garden situation here. I don't mind it, but I'd rather like to be able to build, like, defenses or at least some way of, like, turning away my enemies here. So let's take a look at what, what else we've got. We've maxed that out. Uh, I guess I might as well upgrade the tree a bunch. The probably should have gone. And I don't know. Realistically, we don't need the tree that terribly. Oh, but I can make this thing now. That, that'll that probably help cash money. So based on what I maxed out on. So we desperately need more bushes. I don't think I can fit another one. Oh, I can fit more of them. 
Okay, let's just do that. Get out of here, Mr. Bats. So now, now we can upgrade our, our fruit production here. I didn't even realize this was an issue. Or that I, I had so many potential fruit. Okay. Or fruit? Yeah, they're night Nighthorn fruit. Okay. So ultimately, this is not the kind of game that I'd really run a series on, personally. Like, it's amusing, and there's definitely kind of, like, intri intricacies to it. But ultimately, it's one of those kind of up, uh, slowly scaling clicker games where the entire point of the game is to keep, um, gathering resources, make more money, expand, so on and so forth. So eventually, I'll be able to expand the garden a little bit that way, but I was gonna, I was gonna buy a, a bunny. I don't even know if bunnies are used for anything. Presumably they are. I have no idea. Also, my spirit seems to have... My spirits seem to have disappeared on me. Which comes off as a bit of a disappointment because... I spent good money on them and now they've just decided, nah, screw it, see you guys later. Though I've noticed all of my enemies have kind of disappeared. Oh, maybe it, maybe it has something to do with the rain. Uh, that nobody will bother me if it's raining. Okay, so we've got a bunny eats leaves. So like these? Or like these? Okay, we're just gonna feed the shit out of this rabbit and see what happens. Uh, I guess we've got, ah. Upgrading rabbits is rather expensive. Okay, right click on plant, sell plant, sell totem. Right click on spirit, free spirit. Oh, did I? I freed my spirits or something. Okay, so we can now kind of go, go towards one of those. Well, I'm gonna get this. Oh, totem attacks attracts bees. I see how it works. Sort of. Somewhat. Okay, so now we've got a bigger bunny. It's interesting. Oh, we got a new thing. Whatever this one is. Uh, let's see. Golden Shrub Flower. Sadly, we need to get $7,000 reduced before I can before I can get the Golden Shrub. Oh! My ghosts are back! Okay, so the totems just attract bees. Not super helpful in that situation, but I guess whatever. Yeah, so rainy, rainy times are fertile periods, so all my crops will grow real fast. Um, but all of all of the animals and spirits will go away, so I'm limited to certain recipes that will actually function during that time. Makes sense, I guess. <sighs> Let's see. Do I want to expand the garden a little bit? Oh, does that just give me an extra spot for for fruit bushes? Yeah, it does. Uh, considering that is still kind of a limiting factor here. We might as well make one of those. I want to go back to feeding the bunny. There's something about frog legs, but whatever. Uh, let's see, how much is that going to cost? 5,000. Yeah, I do kind of wish the, uh, the fruits were a little bit easier to build. Like, sadly, this is a little bit more... I Well, maybe sadly? I don't even know if sadly is the right word. But, uh, from my perspective, I... I I'd prefer it if it was a little bit more of a relaxed clicker game and there's so many uh, so many animals that you kind of have to take care of. There's the frog. Though, in retrospect, I know the bees run off with your fruits. I actually don't know... I don't know if the uh, snakes and stuff do. I don't appreciate my spirits that much. They're kind of an annoyance. Keep feeding the bunny. I don't entirely know what sacrificing my own animals is going to do for me. Might not be a bad deal. Might actually be a might actually be a problem. I have no idea. I'm also curious about setting priorities because I think we're still making the potions. It'd be nice if there was like a progress bar on on potions and stuff. Well, what can I afford here? No upgrades, though. I could get another bush. Could get another tree. Looks like I can actually get a fair amount of trees here. 
and we can also get some kind of lower shrubs. I should probably save for the new, the new, the next uh, tier of things. I just want to see what happens if I max out this bunny and then sacrifice it. Because that seems like the main thing to do. I'm also curious what the, the six is in the top left. I assume that's how we unlock new recipes and stuff. But I don't know. Yeah, I guess every time we make a potion, uh, that little thing scales, that, that bar scales up. There we go. Now we've got a Mondo Bunny. I might be able to sell it. Or I might be able to sacrifice it. Let's try making a bunny spirit. Okay, so now we got a bunny spirit. Sadly, it doesn't look like any of them are particularly aggressive at defending my shit. But they do help me gather, so I will accept that as a relatively useful thing. So what's this? Ah, store more than X of each ingredient. See, that makes the totem get stronger for bees. The next bunny is going to be real expensive. Spirit gets... Oh! By upgrading uh, the animal, the, the spirit gets stronger and faster. So now my chicken ghosts are, are much more... Uh, much more effective at getting around and helping me grab stuff. So I guess there is some level of automation, and eventually these guys will be able to gather the garden. And also, like, a lot of the animals coming in aren't going to be taking my shit particularly fast. A snail, of all things. Okay. I do wish that there was a, a guardian spirit that I could uh, I could pull in and zap these guys. But yeah, let's let's get the seven thousand. Sell the plant. Build one of these suckers. I don't know what we can make with it, but whatever. Oh, and it's raining, so we'll be able to upgrade our production at least in some ways. So we want to get up to 10,000 so I can get the uh, increased storage perk, probably. Though I wouldn't mind getting uh, more bunnies so I can get... Um, I wouldn't mind getting uh, some more bunnies so I could get... Oh, what am I thinking? Some more spirits. Though I guess I can also upgrade the one I have. We're also making a fair mo bit more money. Actually, what I should probably do first is, uh... Is expand my farm the rest of the way. I think we're all... Uh, my farm, my garden. I think we're all set for the entirety of, like, this zone. Uh, well, not all set for this in the entirety of this zone, but this is, like, the only way I can expand my way to. There's no, like, alternate screens that I can move over to, but then again, we don't know. Uh, because there's a whole host of upgrades that we haven't and probably will never see. Can you believe that the, this game was given to me, uh, with an embargo attached? I was not expecting that. Most of the times when I'm, I'm given games, it's like, oh yeah, here you go. Oh, my ghosts are back. Most of the times, it has a, an embargo. It's mostly, I think, just kind of bewilder be eh, bewilderment on my part for... Uh, oh, chicken spirit. Nearby flowers grow faster. Nearby leaves grow faster. So de depending on what spirits I'm rolling with here, um, they actually increase the growth rate of my stuff. That's useful. I'll set it specifically near that one because this, I think, is flower-based. Could be wrong. But yeah, so the nice thing is I could actually just leave this running at this point. The losses from the various animals stealing my shit uh, wouldn't be really that big of a deal. The only problem is I wouldn't be able to uh, collect, like, frog legs and stuff, which I guess would be a bit of a sad. Let's see, so I could upgrade my, like, weeds and stuff, but they're expensive could buy the upgrade for the bunny. I mean, part of it is, this is an idler game. I'd probably be best off if I just let it run for like an hour and come back later. And I might do that, actually. 
if I actually decide to keep going with this as a series. Like, it, it's definitely one of those where it's like, it's an amusing little game and I'm doing this video mainly because it's kind of, uh, fun to play. And it's also one of those where it's a, it's a nice Skinner box. You constantly are just doing things. And, you know, there's no, there's no pause button. There's no slow down button, it's just keep going, keep going, keep building, keep building. And it never really stops. And, you know, that's okay. But it does mess with my head. I don't even know what I need to upgrade to. What are my limiting factors here? For this, we got plenty of bog root. We got plenty of these flowers. We need more honeycomb. And we got a ton of leaves. So we need more honeycomb. So I guess what I should do is mostly click on animals and let the bees do their business. Also, this one's randomly lit up a little bit more than usual. Okay, let's upgrade this so we get more bees. I don't necessarily know how my bees are supposed to work. But, I mean... I... Oh. If I click them, they'll do honeycomb. I see. So I have to, I have to click every bee. I can't just let the, the bees hang out. I gotta be proactive about bee making here. Okay, that's cool. I didn't know how the, the bees were supposed to work. And now I do. So keep clicking them bees. Or not? I don't really know. Okay, let's let's not click any bees and see if they automatically do it. They might just get pissed at me and go away. <sighs> so I guess we've got this nice little rainy se season here to slow things down. I do appreciate that. I appreciate a lot of this. I do wish the crops were worth some, like, you know, it wasn't just all potion making that makes money, but then again, I guess it's not so bad. I do appreciate the leveling system, the art is good, the music is repetitive, but, I mean, that comes as no surprise. So honestly, if you wanted an alternate, uh, alternate, uh, an incredibly casual, uh, clicker game, this one's probably worth taking a look at, because, I mean, that's about the best summation I can possibly give it. It is super casual to the point of being, you know, I'm not going to say unplayable, but it's super casual to the point of being like, yeah, you know, I, I, I played it, but I'm not entirely sure how much more I want to play it. Apparently mushrooms are actually a bit of a limiting factor here. Okay. Let's keep an eye on this bee. Actually, let's click on this bee and see if he does his dirty business. It did, so I don't know. It seems like clicking on bees seems to seems to be the way to go here. But I also could be wrong. I don't know. We need more honeycomb, and unfortunately, there's no seemingly easy way to. Yeah, it looks like it looks like clicking on bees is is the way to do it. Okay, you get out of here. We're saving up for one of these. Surprisingly, we need more mushrooms, but I figured I'd get these because eventually we're going to be using them, maybe? I don't know. Are really hard to tell. But yeah, so impressions-wise, this game's like three to five bucks. It's like dirt cheap. If you're looking for a kind of a nice little idle game to pass your time, it's probably worth looking into. There's not a whole lot of complication to it. It's, it's, it, it's got a bit of a learning curve, mainly because it doesn't have a tutorial. It just throws you in expecting you to figure it out along the way, which actually ain't bad. Uh, you know, now that I understand it, it's just like, yeah, yeah, I can get behind this. Uh, but the initial, the initial bout was definitely like, what the hell is going on and why, why is it working this way? Uh, you know, I'm okay with that. I, I'm okay with how this is working now. Uh, I, I do wish that if you, like, hovered over something, like, it kind of has, like, little pop-ups here, but it actually took me a long time to even notice that they were there. 
and I kind of wish they were a little bit more more overt, but maybe that's just me. Um, but I don't know. Alter, ultimately, if you guys saw, I think it was Pantera. If you guys saw Pantera and you enjoyed it and you picked it up and whatever, or if you like other like idle clicker type games, this one's probably going to be worth worth picking up too. It really is not going to bust your wallet, but you're probably also not going to get too much gameplay out of it. So I don't know. Hopefully it also comes out on mobile, because honestly I think that's the true home of games like these. Oh damn, I'm actually making a fair amount of money now. I didn't even realize, but I guess now that I'm kind of stabilizing things out, it's working pretty well. We could get the closet upgrade. Actually, no. You know what? I should probably get one of these trees. I don't even know what they do. I don't even know what they have. We should probably also afford some upgrades along the way, too. Maybe save up for the next bunny. Hard to tell. I don't know what our next animal is. I actually really wish you could see on the buying screen what, I, what level you unlock everything. Because, I don't know, it would just be nice to see. But maybe that's just me. Okay, you know what? I'm going to max out the upgrade tree on these things. Mainly because it will increase the amount of mushrooms that we're producing. And I know mushrooms are a pretty heavy limiting factor here. You get out of here. So that's some kind of fruit. What is this? Milky Myrtle Fruit. Alright. I don't know. I can't stop and it's a problem. Uh, but I definitely should. So, I guess, I hope you guys enjoyed this impressions video. I... I don't do as many of them as I used to, and I probably should. Problem is time, too many series going on, and just how do you fit this shit in? Uh, not to mention, like, I get so many games that are just utter garbage. And some people are probably going to say this one's pretty utter garbage. I don't, I don't know. I'm enjoying it enough. So, I guess with this, I will see you guys on the next impressions video. But, of course, before I go, uh, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, I don't know if I'm going to play more Voodoo Garden. Uh, I'm sure I could. I'm sure I could keep going. Maybe we could talk about my life or things like that. Uh, but after a certain point, it's just going to be like, what do you even talk about? And then eventually we'll just, like, cap out on the things that I can actually possibly uh, do in the game. And that'd be the end of the series. Or not. I don't know. I don't really have any particular uh, preferences in the end. It's just kind of like, eh. Uh, it's just super casual for me and I can't, I can't stop playing. But yeah, uh, if you want to see more Indie Impressions videos, uh, hit subscribe because I don't do as much of them as I used to. But I definitely still do quite a number. And mostly I just play a shit ton of indie games. Uh, so there's that too. Uh, but one way or another, I will see you guys on the next episode, slash impressions, videos, slash whatever. And as always, thanks for watching.